Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kai Han Jeon. Uh, I'm a graduate student at Yonsei University in South Korea. Um, today, I'm very happy to have a chance to give my presentation. And I will talk about the previous efforts and the future work of information delivery manual configurator. Now, this is the contents. I will focus on the previous efforts. Uh, as you already know, uh, BIM is mandates worldwide. South Korea, is man BIM South Korea mandates the BIM from 2010, and the UK mandates the BIM level 2 from the 2016, and this year, Hong Kong is mandated the BIM. According to the BIM level 2 in the UK, the employers should request employers' information re requ requirements called EIRs to project team. And then the project teams should submit the BIM execution plan as a response to the invitation to bidding package. So both employers and project team define, need to know or, and define who the information is for and what it will contain and how it will be delivered. And they can find the answer from the information delivery manual. Does everybody know the, what is what the information delivery manual? So, um, according to the definition of ISO 29481-1, IDM is a specification of information to be exchanged. IDM, is, uh, IDM consists of process map, exchange requirements, and the model view definitions. So process map can define who the information is for, and exchange requirements can define what the information contains, and the model view definition can provide the answer of the, how the information can be delivered. However, however, there are several problems. First of all, the, the IDM development process is too complex and time consuming, and there is no standard format for exchange information. Even the current tool hardly supports the integrated process of IDM development, so it is not easy to share and reusing the, reuse the existing IDM. Now, this, uh, this study aims to review the existing efforts for IDM development and to identify the gaps to achieve the goal. And we proposed an, an IDM configurator as a framework for integrated development system for IDM development and the future work. So let's look at the previous efforts. Uh, this study reviewed the previous efforts in three perspectives. First one is IDM framework, and second one is embedded development, and third, uh, supporting tools. Uh, many studies have been conducted on IDM frameworks, uh, especially the XPPM is a represent representative methodology of IDM framework, and other approaches about reusability of information units or uh, IDMs. So, uh, but today I'll, I will explain the, the XPPM in detail. As, as preliminary study for IDM framework, the GTPPM, which means the Georgia Tech Process to Product Modeling was, the, uh, was proposed. The, uh, GTPPM is the very first concept for IDM framework. And then the XPPM, which means the Extended Process to Product Modeling, was was developed by Lee at Yonsei University. XPPM is not only a soft, software, but also is a methodology for IDM frameworks. So let's look at this uh, video clip. So you can drawing a process map using BPM, and this is the XPPM solution. And you can define the role and data object, which is the same as the exchange requirement. And the exchange requirement can be mapped to the IFC entities and properties. And then, so uh, we, can, uh, we can develop an IDM from the PM to MVD seamlessly based on the XPPM. A second, second one is uh, previous efforts for MVD development. Uh, many studies and technology have been made by both industry and uh, academia. Also today, I will uh, focus on these two studies. These two, stu these two studies are logical method to automatically extract an MVD. The first study is about a role-based subset generation based on a set theory. 
This study identifies the exchangeable subset types. So MVD extraction starts from the base set in quadrant one. And at the similar time, uh, the Lee at Yonsei University uh, proposed a concept-based MVD extraction. In this study, IFC model view extractor, another name is MVD picker, was developed based on a, a concept of a minimal set. This is the MVD extractor. So user can uh, open an IFC and then input the uh, name of the key concept and then automatically generate the minimal set. A minimal set is another name, uh, is uh, called MVD. And this MVD can be exported uh, as a IFC specification. To validation and quality check for BIM model, the MVD XML was developed by Building Smart Interna International in 2016. MVD XML is a specification of standardized format to define the exchange MVD, MVD. And also, it contains the, uh, a lot of validation rules for uh, quality check for BIM model. And IFC Dog is a soft kind of software also developed by Building Smart International, which program is can uh, can configure the and edit MVD XML. Also, it can use for generate a documentation of a IFC specification. And design transfer design transfer view and the reference view is uh, are officially officially released MVDs from the Building Smart International, so you can find and download it from the BSI uh, websites. Third, uh, there are several supporting tools for BIM execution plan generator. These four tools are more popular tools for BIM project management. The uh, first one is BIM Toolkit, uh, which is developed by NBS in UK. And second one is BIM Queues in Germany, and Model Space is developed by Graphicon in Finland. And this these three tools are focused on the entire project to management, uh, project management on BIM. Uh, and while the BIM execution plan generator, the first tool, is a little bit dif different for, from the other three tools because BP uh, generator can configure and finding the optimal BIM so collaboration methodology and propose the project team. So, uh, this is the BIM toolkit. So cl client and operator can define the task and uh, give some technical guidance, LOD or LOI. And project team also defines some specification and that the specification of the, all the information can be delivered to based on the manufacturer template. So user can direct, directly handle the 3D model through this BIM toolkit. In this case is a BIMQ. Uh, BIMQ is a data-driven database system. It looks like a spreadsheet and user can construct uh, their own information structure based on the web-based database. So you can define who is responsible for the information and when, how, uh, it, how the information can, can be uh, delivered. However, despite all these efforts, we have some gaps left to future improvements. Uh, more functions and tools to support the IDM activities, such as a global IDM server or international standards. Now we propose the IDM configurator. An IDM configurator is a digital platform a framework for an integrated IDM embedded and specification and delivery process. As I mentioned before, the employers and project team should make a YRs and BP at the early stage of the BIM project. So both uh, EIR and BP can be generated by the IDM and based on the IDM configurator. The IDM configurator is not totally new, but built based on the many previous efforts reviewed in this paper, three aspects. So IDM framework can be based off the IDM, uh, IDM development process and many efforts for MVD development and uh, several uh, notable tools for supporting the BIM execution plan uh, report. 
However, we also identify the gaps to fill in. Uh, we need to develop an international standard, da standard data schema for exchange information between the IDM framework or, and the MVD or uh, reusing the existing one. And then uh, on the other gaps can be filled with a an, uh, filled with a global item server establishment. For Repa Mike uh, presentation, uh, many many studies and technological issues have been discussed in the Building Smart International Forum uh, called in the IDN Configurator page. So anyone who is interested in the IDN Configurator can join us. <laughs> And next generation of SPPM also uh, under development at Yonsei University, and we need to develop and we try to research about more uh, more about a standard for exchange information and the global item server. In this entire process, we uh, have to consider some technical and managerial challenges such as uh, quality assurance and copyright of the items and how we motivate the people who made the IDM and MVDs. So this is the end of my presentation and thank you for your attention. <laughs>